Hey, are you feeling any better about the case? Nope. We're going to find out who did this, May. I promise. If you say so. Look, thanks for breakfast. I just want to say, I know you're trying to help, but I think you're wasting your time. You said you used to hang out at the Hathorn house, right? Uh-huh. Did you ever see anything strange when you were there? Like ghosts? Yeah. No, never. Oh, okay. Do you feel ready to talk about your alibi? I don't even have a passport. I don't go anywhere, so I wasn't in Austria, if that's what you're thinking. And on the night of the arson? Giving us your alibi would help you so much. <sighs> People tell me there's a good reason to suspect you, but no one can say why. Isn't it obvious? I've got a burn mark covering the entire side of my face and like most of my arms. It must be me. I'm sorry that happened to you. And I'm sorry if people judge you for your burns. I prefer it to pity. Would you tell me what happened? There was a fire. I was in it. I'm not trying to pry. It's just that so far, the main cause for suspecting you of the Hathorn fire seems to be this previous one. I only want to understand. I was nine. It was an old shed, and I wasn't supposed to play in it. It was kind of a den full of stuff, like candles. I got stuck inside. You can work out the rest. So it was an accident. You were just a kid. Harsh to suspect you now because of something you didn't mean to happen. Don't make me talk about it more. Okay. Thank you for telling me, May. Talk to you later. The neighborhood looks peaceful from up here. Huh? Куда-то едем. Ну, пробки. Ну что, попробуем. Суд.
что это такое? Сообщение. Это... Найти ключ от дома Хаттерна, расследовать дело, собрать алиби. Ну, попробую папе позвонить. Эй, hey, you've reached Carson Drew's home number. For business inquiries, please call my office and I'll get back to you. Anyone else is welcome to leave a message after the beep. Понятно. Автоответчик. Nancy. Hey, how's it going? Find anything? Nothing. Aside from the weird looks from the woman who lives here, Lauren Holt, I think her name was. To be fair, it looks like we're drilling for oil with all this equipment. Whoa! <coughs> Cold spot! Grab that EMP meter, Frank! Quickly! What? You mean this? It says EMF. Yeah, that one! This one? Or this one? This one? You're sure? Yes! Because I have these other devices here, like ESP, or PSN, or NASA. Come on, Frank, hurry! God, it's gone! We're going to have to be quicker to catch these paranormal phenomena. Uh-huh. Oh, hey, Nancy, forgot to tell you. On the way into town, I spotted surveillance cameras on the outside of the courthouse. Try checking the footage. I'm sure they have cameras on the inside as well. Yeah, good catch. We'll let you know if we catch any phenomena. <laughs> Thanks. Talk soon. Thank you for calling, but I'm not here right now. I will get back to you as soon as possible. Please drop me a line after the beep. Sorry to break it to you, but I'm ghosting you. Try again later. Or don't. <laughs> At least she's honest. Hello, Deirdre? Help me! Deirdre! <laughs> I got you! Deirdre 1, Nancy 0. Ugh, you're so gullible. It's not funny. Come on! Yes, it is! You know what? I like it. Because now I know how much you care. Of course I care, Deirdre. Despite your best efforts. Well, anyway, I have some information for you. Frances Tuttle? What do you know about her? She's the former owner of Hathorne House. What? That's it? Well, I thought you were going to research. It all goes back to Frances Tuttle. Check it out. She took over the Hathorne House estate in 1992. Although I found three different marriage announcements in the Salem News, she was never married and never had any biological children. The only living heir now is Lauren Holt. She met Frances Tuttle and was officially adopted in 2006. The judge said there was a will. Lauren confirmed that. Exactly. But as far as I can tell, there is no will. Nothing was ever filed with the town clerk. No lawyer has stepped forward with a copy. Frances was in her late 80s when she passed, and she had a stroke a few years earlier. Maybe she was confused. Are you saying you think that Lauren burned down her own house? Sounds bizarre, I know, but it's the most likely scenario. But why? Because in Salem, a historic property is classified differently if it's a ruin versus being an intact structure. <coughs> Without a will, a ruined property <coughs> is preserved as is. So Lauren could stay there. Mm-hmm. Now, I don't think living in a charred out building is great for your health, but it's a theory. Okay. See if you can find out anything else. I'll meet you back at the Perry house later. <coughs> okay. Bye, Nancy. Hi. If you're here
you're hearing this, that means I can't come to the phone right now. Sorry, but don't despair. Tell me everything you want to say after the beep. Beep. <laughs> Just kidding. Here comes the real one. Miss Drew, how can I help you? Hi, Miss Cole. Alicia, please. Oh, same. Nancy. Great. So what do you need, Nancy? Any more paper clips, staplers, or perhaps a hammer drill? I'm more of a pneumatic nail gun type myself. Ha ha. Nice. You have a hammer drill in here. In my closet. I'm a bit of a home improvement junkie. You have to be when you live in a house built in the 1800s. Well, thanks, but I don't need any of those things. I do have some questions, though. You mind if I take five minutes of your time? Please. I don't mind. I'm sure you've heard about the burglary in the court's evidence room. Yes, unbelievable. You know, I've started asking myself, what is happening to this town? It used to be such a safe place. And now we have arson and break-ins. I'm worried there's a pattern of escalation here. I mean, is this the kind of place I want to raise children in? Oh, you're trying to start a family. I mean, yes. But with the amount that I work, when is there any time? I barely have enough time to do my hair in the morning, let alone go on a date after work. And to be honest, the type of people living in a place like Salem is, well, not really what I'm into. How about you? I have a boyfriend. Really? He doesn't accompany you on your investigative trips? Well, he's in college right now, and we see each other when we can. Uh-huh. You been dating long? Yeah, a couple of years. Okay. No one said it was easy, but we figure out how to make it work. All I'll say is, most men don't understand what we go through. We have to fight to get a seat at their table, and then they want us to go home and be family makers. Some unsolicited advice from one working woman to another? Don't let his plans get in the way of yours. Of course, they don't. Do you know who has access to the evidence room? As far as I know, just myself and the judge. That's interesting. Look, I don't like saying this, but the judge occasionally leaves the evidence room unlocked. The man even locked himself in his own office, for pity's sake. Not that it matters. I was told the burglar came from the outside. So it's safe to say you weren't here during the theft? <laughs> Are you liking me for this crime, Nancy? No, I don't like anyone for this crime. Or any other crime, for that matter. Just doing my research. I was not here. I was running errands around town. <sighs> busy, busy, busy. Do you happen to have the code for the evidence room door? Nope, sorry. He hasn't given that to me yet. And knowing him, he's probably already lost it. Doing some follow-ups with the arson. Where were you that night? <laughs> Are you asking for my alibi? Well, yes, if you don't mind. I was at a charity fundraiser, saving the piping plovers. Anyone in this town that works in an official capacity can vouch for me. Are you interviewing any of them? I don't think I'll need to. I'm a little bit surprised you'd even ask. Just being thorough. I can respect that. Would you mind telling me what you were doing three days ago? Three days ago? All day or... Well, any info would be helpful. Actually, why are you interested in this? I was in Austria three days ago and witnessed a theft of a historical artifact there that, surprisingly, I believe is connected to this theft. I see. I was talking to your father about that case. Really? Yeah, we chat sometimes. About work? Mostly. Okay. Ask him. 
Sure. You're a regular sleuth, aren't you? Picking up other cases now? Not exactly. It's kind of related to the Hathorn house. Yeah, let's see. I was home watching Jason cut the stump out of my front yard. You hired Jason Danforth for that? He's cheap. And he can't say no because he needs the money. Plus, I kind of like watching him suffer a little. I wouldn't know why. You know, I could use someone like you. A lawyer is always in need of a good private investigator. If your father would be okay with you working for someone else. Alicia, I'm my own woman. I work for myself. But you've been very helpful and I really appreciate it. Good. Well, when you solve this case, let's talk. Why did you bring your hammer drill to the office? Well, after the burglary, we realized that this place was in dire need of higher security. I ordered the keypad online and used the drill to mount it. I just keep forgetting to bring the drill back home with me. That's impressive. Yeah, still ended up calling a professional when the thing wouldn't stop beeping. What did you mean when you said the people here are not your type? Oh, you probably know by now. You've been around town, right? I have. It's all people with minds as small as the town itself. I don't mean to sound harsh, but uh, you can only meet so many with the same mindset before you see a pattern. That's interesting. Did something happen? Oh, nothing much. Sometimes I just wish this place would be a bit bigger, you know? More progressive. Imagine a revitalized town. Do you think that could happen? <laughs> a woman can dream. See you later. No, not today. I can't. There's too much to do. Come on. Take a break. You need it. Jason, I have had these protesters outside my window nonstop for days. I must deal with this situation. The longer it goes on, the worse it looks. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Ooh, but I'm buying lunch. You're buying? Really? With what? You gotta get over this, Dad. It's not good for you. It's not healthy. What are you talking about? You resent me. I don't resent you, Jason. Miss Drew, please, come in. We'll talk later, okay? Oh, you have time for her, but not for me. Please, Jason. Hi, Jason Danforth. Nancy Drew. Nancy Drew. You're visiting Salem, yeah? What do you think? Kind of a boring town beneath all the legends. Jason, come on. We have a meeting. Actually, it seems like there's a lot going on here. Well, whenever you're up for some real excitement, look me up. I'm sorry. He's still trying to figure out what he wants to do with his life. Didn't want to follow in his father's footsteps. Mm -hmm. Oh, he tried. Didn't have the dedication to follow through with the schooling. Anyway, let's get started. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. As you know, I want to investigate the crime scene. Could you give me the code for the keypad? That information isn't usually available to the public. I'm afraid I can't just take your word for it. I'll have it taken care of. <laughs> 